So here we go. So we're on the index page right now. So what we're going to do is uh, we're, you got it up here and over here. We're going to go to File and Save As, and we're going to save this as a master DWT page. So we type in master, and uh, we want this as a dynamic web template, so we hit that, and we go Save. So actually now we have our master dynamic web template. Now the one thing we need to do is, if you remember from our other videos on the dynamic web template, uh, some elements on the dynamic web plate we don't want to change. We want them to be the same across all the pages on the website and that would usually be like the masthead, the navigation, and the footer. Uh, so like this navigation bar, we want this to be the same across all the pages. Um, the footer, um, we want that to be the same. And if we had a masthead, um, which we would, like, let's say this was where it says enormous here was a logo or something, we would want that to be the same on all the pages. But the actual page content, we would want that to be different for each page. So uh, the parts that we want to be the same are actually, we consider those non-editable regions, and the parts that we want to be different are, we make them editable regions. So that's what we need to do for the master dynamic web template now is we need to divide the page into editable and non-editable regions. And so how we do that is we we identify the sections that we want to be editable. So for this particular uh, website, it's basically, there's two parts to it. There's uh, this main content area here, and then over here is a sidebar. And those two areas, I'm pretty sure we want to be able to customize on each of our individual pages. So um, what we can do is if we go into code view and look around here for a second, uh, just looking through the code, there's the wrapper, that's just the container for the whole uh, website, the web page. There's the, uh, a header, there's the menu, uh, and here's the page. And now here's the content. So if we go back into split view, if I highlight up, you see up here uh, where we call this the breadcrumb trail. If I if I highlight on where it says uh, div uh, hash mark content, it'll it highlights all the content area. So then what I do once that's highlighted, I right click in on the page and go manage editable region. And I'll just uh, when it, when it says region name, it's basically just it's just a reference name. So I can just call this main content, I can call this main page content, and then I just click add. And now what that's done is on the, and I save this, remember anytime you see that asterisk to save. Um, then what, I, what I'll do is, um, I'll do that for the sidebar, so let's find where the sidebar is in the code here. Uh, looking, looking, oh here it is right here. So what we do, and it makes it, when I click it in the code, it makes it appear up here on the, the breadcrumb trail. So I click that, highlights it in the code. I come down here in, in the design part, right click, manage edible region, and I just type in sidebar and go add. So now what I've done is I've defined uh, two edit editable regions. Now, um, believe it or not, um, we actually don't need this uh, uh, index page anymore because um, I'm going to create a new one from scratch. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to delete this because it's going to be confusing with it hanging around. So I'm deleting that. So now that I have the master dynamic web template created with the editable regions defined, uh, I can build all six pages of the website uh, off of this template. So, so what I'll do to do that is we just go uh, File, New, page and we actually need six pages so I can go uh, okay and it creates an untitled page it's a little faster if you come up here and just do it this way um, and just keep adding because we need six pages right so it's going to keep adding an untitled page untitled five titled six so now what we have is we've got our master DWT uh, template and we've just created six blank pages so now what we're going to do is just go through real quick and uh, name them all. Let's see, we've got, uh, if I remember here, we're going to have, uh, this will be our uh, default, oops, default home page. 
So save that. Uh, we right click and then click save and this will be our um, blog page. Uh, then we right click on this, save that. There's a photo page, we just save that. And then uh, what else we got? We got an about page and save that. And uh, we got a links page. So we title that links and we save that. And then for the last one is save is a uh, contact. So, okay. So now what we've got is we've got the master DWT um, file page and we've got six blank pages. So now all we need to do is go in and attach the, dynamic, uh, the master dynamic web um, template to each page and will basically create the page for us. So it's pretty straightforward to do that. You just come up here, you just go to the page, like we're on the default HTML page. Our cursor's on it. We come up here to format, dynamic web template, attach, and go open. Oh, click on here, master. Go open, and it built, it brings in the all that code into the default page, and from a blank page turns it into the the website. Then we do that. We have to do that for each one of these pages. And uh, while this seems like a headache uh, initially, a little bit of uh, busy work. Um, actually, what happens is uh, that having a dynamic web template it ends up saving time. So. I guess it's good practice at learning how to attach a dynamic web template. <laughs> so you have to do it six times. But it definitely will um, pay for itself later because if you ever want to make a change, um, you just have to go to the, um, the one page on the dynamic web template and make the change there. And the change will carry over to all the other six pages, at least for the um, common areas. So let's see, that's links. I go to format, dynamic web template, attach, highlight master, open, attach it, close, and then we come up and save it. So it's just the same across for all these format, dynamic web template, attach, highlight that, open, close, and then remember there's that asterisk, so we want to make sure to save it each time. Okay, so now we've got our six pages. The only problem now is that none of them are linked, so we need to link them all. All we need to do to do that is we're going to go into the dynamic web template because that's where we would, we would do that. And um, we come up here to the where it says menu, and these are the names of the pages, right? And you see where it has the, the hash mark? in there the the pound sign that's you just need to type in the link to the page there so this is the home page so we're just going to type in default html and uh, where it says blog over here we delete that pound sign and we just type in blog html just write the same name that's over here uh, and that's this is actually the the link to that page so we're typing all that in and you have to make sure you type it exactly the same as what the name of the um, file is the 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 page name is so about html and let's see what you so got links dot html and then the last one would be contact so it is a little bit of a work to do this, but once you get the hang of it, you can start really... Now here it's asking, there are six files attached to the master uh, template. It's really, really what it's saying is there's six pages. And would we like to update them? Yes. Yeah, so so, um, so this code was just replicated on all six of those pages. Now you notice there's that asterisk again, so we want to go through and save on each one of our pages make sure all those changes are saved and um, we're basically believe it or not we're almost done